Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel that I absolutely did not intend to just abandon for three months. If you look at my channel, it looks like I just ran a marathon and fell off the face of the earth. I didn't die, I'm fine. As you can see from the title, today I am doing a haul and so I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna give you a small, small update on what I'm doing. So today I am unboxing a few sustainable items. <clears throat> I'm already losing my voice. What is going on? I bought a few sustainable items or, you know, whoa, sustainable swaps. I am frazzled. I bought a few sustainable swaps because I am very much into sustainability and I feel when you have the financial means to upgrade your level of sustainability in your life, I really think, for me, it makes sense to do so. So these are a few things that I bought that I think would be relevant for a lot of people because they're not advanced swaps. I'm not gonna say I'm a beginner because I'm not at the coffee cup stage, but I, I'm a little further along, but I'm not a low waste person. I'm not one of those influencers that you see. So as you can see, we have some packaging materials. These were a lot heavier, heavier than I expected them to be. This is paper tape. It has some kind of glue that's natural. So this is sustainable tape, basically. It's plastic free. I used to be one of those people who taped so much and it hurts to look back on because it's not even that long ago, but tape is wasteful, people. But this is paper tape and I ship out a lot of things. So this will be really good for, you know, shipping out packages, but it's also, you can just cut small pieces and use them on presents. For this Christmas, I'm probably gonna wrap most of my presents in newspapers, so we'll be nice to have some sustainable tape because I'm gonna need tape for the newspaper. I also bought this ribbon that's made of cotton that will look very cute on the newspaper presents so I'm excited for that. This red striped one I think it's gonna be really cute under the Christmas tree. I'm so excited for Christmas. This is a very obvious swap. The wooden dish brush that has an attachable head that you can change out whenever this gets too worn. I've tried reusable sponges that were made of fabric and I have sensory issues and whenever I tried to use them. It was the worst feeling ever. It was just horrible sensation. So I'm not gonna do that. I really hope this will, you know, be okay to use. I mean, a lot of people use them. I'm just trying these things out. That's also a thing. I don't like when people are too, too preachy about sustainability because obviously you can't look away from the fact that it is more expensive to be sustainable when it comes to stuff like this. Like, of course, a lot of purchases are a one-time purchase or you don't have to buy it very often, so maybe it evens out, but it's still a larger sum of money that you have to spend in one transaction and not everyone can do that. This I am excited for. It's an ice cube tray. So this is made out of silicone and it has a lid. Here's the lid, which is important because you don't want your ice cubes to get contaminated with everything in the fridge. You can freeze a lot of things in this and the cubes are not tiny. I'm excited to use this. I thought it would be a little more pink. It actually looks more pink on the camera than it is here. It's more of a dull pink. Here we have something that I've never tried before. It's sustainable floss. So this is made out of uh, silk. So it's not vegan. So I'm assuming this is some kind of non-plastic. Oh, so it's compostable. It says. Okay, I have to go now, but I'll finish the unboxing later. <laughs> but I'll probably look messed up because I'm going out in the rain. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pretend I wasn't gone for a few hours. I just went to a uh, pink ribbon run in my hometown just to, you know, raise awareness for breast cancer and also raise a little bit of money. Oh, I got a cute pin. So I wore all pink. I just put this back on to pretend I was never gone, but I decided to tell you anyway, so it's so cute. I also have one that I put on my backpack. It's really annoying with these pins, but because you can't put it on your rain jacket which I have to wear a lot because I live in Norway okay on the coast it rains a lot and I can't pierce this through my rain jacket because then it will have a hole on it and as I joked about with my friends yesterday it would look like I always had milk leaking out of my boob which I don't have not very convenient but so cute. I think it's really important to you know wear these. As we're already just completely off topic I have a full I don't know if all that smoke was visible on camera. That was a lot. <laughs> this smells like heirloom pumpkin. I bought it at TJ Maxx and best six pounds. I've spent maybe not all year, but you know. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the windowsill. So for the rest of the, of the video, just keep in mind that there is an atmosphere going on here, okay? I've just uh, seen on Instagram that uh, the, there's like 
a uh, organization or whatever I should call it. Every whatever Sunday in October, there is a huge event to raise money in Norway. Everyone, you know, goes from door to door to collect money or you just send it digitally or whatever. Okay, Norway is a chill ass country. Okay, it's fine to go to people's doors to ask for money for a cause. Everyone knows this is going on. It's been around for almost 50 years or something, like a really long time. And I interviewed one of the people from the organization. She gave me a t-shirt and asked me to take some pictures with the t-shirt on to just for them to use and they didn't use them so today I posted them on my Instagram to try and be like hey everyone want to join so if you saw a, a post in Norwegian that you didn't un understand that is that with the red t-shirt this year the cause that uh, gets the money that's collected is Doctors Without Borders and that's obviously hugely important and it also goes to ensuring people have vaccines and all of this but okay I'm gonna get back to the hall I hope it's not too dark now it's kind of getting gloomy outside it's raining that's why I thought my hair would look terrible but it looks better now than it did previously because I just blow dried it so I looked like a troll and if Reese and Amy are watching this they're gonna say I'm a troll anyway but uh, let's keep going I forgot to say something it makes so much noise I forgot to say something about the floss it's called dental lace I don't know if they have more options but on this website they had the silk one and they also had bamboo but I read on Amazon one of the reviews said that it would you know get stuck between their teeth but they had tight spaced teeth and I don't have that so I don't know if that would be an issue for me I should have bought both of them to test them out so I think I added this mostly because I had to increase the amount in my basket because I would get free shipping or something and of course I care about value so I'm gonna buy something instead of paying for shipping because whatever you pay for shipping is just a waste of money in my eyes so this is a body wash bar and it has clay in it I love soap bars and I it looked like I was proposing to you how romantic so like sorry I disappeared for three months but will you marry me that's how you make up for everything I need a new soap bar for the shower so this is good it smells exactly like you would expect if you walked into a low waste store or zero waste store like a bulk bin or something that also sold body products that's what that store would smell like earth clay and bergamot it's not exactly what you expect that kind of store to smell like I'm excited to use this the soap I'm using right now is from Disney World that's from 2013 but I didn't use it because I wanted to keep it. But then I realized I don't need to keep those kind of items <laughs> from Disney. I have other things I can keep and I also have uh, memories. This one I am excited for. It's the coffee sock. I had to say that with a lot of energy, I guess. Coffee sock, as it always should have been. Let's pretend this is a commercial. Coffee sock, as it always should have been. Okay, that was weird. So this is a coffee filter. I don't even have one yet, but I want to get a coffee machine, you know, a filter coffee machine that makes you know brew coffee well it's literally just a coffee filter that is reusable so it's made out of fabric oh there's two in here I didn't even know so this is what it looks like just a coffee filter but it's reusable rinse ring hang so you apparently don't need to wash it every time that's good and then we have an all-purpose sponge made of cellulose so it's just a sponge to be you know used for cleaning whatever you need to be cleaning you need to clean just thought it would be really nice because I don't have a lot of cleaning stuff so that is it for that box on to this weird package right here this is something that I thought a lot about because when you wash your clothes in the laundry machine microplastics will end up into the water and that will end up in the ocean and fish and other organis organisms will eat them and then you know larger fish eat them and it's one of those things that just keeps collecting in animals and also you know a lot of humans eat fish and then that microplastic end up in us and that's not good they drew a little sun for me that's so cute so it's really good to have some kind of system that catches the microplastics from your laundry water you can either install a filter or you can use wash bags but then i was like is this gonna be big enough for my load <laughs> oh my god or do I have, am i gonna have to get two and also like that's just faff you know so i was trying to see if there was something i could do that didn't really require a lot of effort which also applies to a lot of people you know a lot of people want to be more sustainable but they don't want to put that much effort into it and being more sustainable is going to be more inconvenient a lot of the times but it's just how far are you willing to go and I am willing to go pretty far but if I don't have to empty the bag of microplastics that's great so I got a Cora ball this will catch microplastics and fibers and stuff from the laundry water you just pop it in there with your clothes I'm so excited to use it inspired by the ocean 
protecting the ocean. Did you know, on their own, microfibers that shed from our clothes are too small for the eye to see. The coral ball stalks, inspired by coral, help prevent, catch, and then tangle these tiny fibers into fuzz balls that are big enough to see and then grab. So they will kind of catch in between these little arms and then you can, you know, pick them off and throw them in the trash. Obviously, don't throw them in the sink because then the whole point is just gone. This is so easy to use. That's why I just thought this is the best option for me. Okay, so we're back. Like, actually back. I have uh, had huge problems balancing my life since I started a full-time job that's not freelance. I work as a journalist and that also, of course, includes working overtime or working weekends and all of that. So it's a lot at times and I also still do freelance stuff. So that is <laughs> a lot of work, of course, but I'm terrible at saying no. And I'm also, I just love being busy and I love being productive. I have for a long time just had kind of a problem with not doing too much. I talk more about this in the video that I'm posting next, so stay tuned for that. I have four videos that I filmed a few months ago, but I wanted to post this first just to give a little update. I have realized that I can't just keep working because this is something I really enjoy doing and I want to build an audience. So if I do that, I need to be consistent and I have not been consistent <laughs> in the last few years. So after these four videos, because I'm gonna try and post them quite quickly. I'm gonna try and have one upload day a week because I think now I actually need to commit to one day because if not then I'm just like oh well I can always do it later but if I have like say Friday I post videos then I kind of have to do it. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because I'm still you know trying to navigate avoiding being burnt out or just doing too much or not relaxing which I'm not very good at relaxing at all at all. I also want to get more into writing again because that's something that you know I feel. I watched Mama Dr. Jones and she said something about this that you have all these balls they are like always juggling but you have these glass balls that you can't drop so when there are things you have to drop it's other things so this the like a lot of my hobbies stuff like that is stuff that goes I don't know how to get out of being so bad at replying to messages and tweets and Instagram comments and just like everything I don't know how people do this it just low-key makes me anxious and I'm also just I feel so bad for not replying to people but I also don't have the energy to reply so I don't know what's going on <laughs> so for the rest of the month or after I post these videos I really want to make some kind of Halloween content or maybe even something about making Halloween more sustainable and also <laughs> I really think it's fun to make shorts and I think it's a good way to maybe reach more people because you know a lot of people watch shorts more people watch shorts than watch regular videos now it seems so I kind of have to make them if I want to build my channel and I do I want more people to watch my videos what you can expect from me after that is pretty much just a normal person who isn't you know amazing at low waste or being you know sustainable and all of that navigate through through life like trying to be more sustainable and also millennial shit you know how we build our lives because it's kind of hard for our generation <laughs> but I also have a lot of I did a video about my experience living in London or moving to London and I also like I only did my first year so I want to do more videos about that my experience living abroad and all of that I also want to focus more on you know thrifted clothing which I've done a lot so that's also something I'm gonna continue to do so yeah I am doing better I'm trying to just build myself up to a point where I just have control because right now I kind of don't but I am excited about everything that's coming I am gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna go to my friend's house. It's a Saturday night so of course playing Nintendo Switch with my friends and their kid is ideal for me. I said in my last uh, short when, where I talked about my pap smear that I bought a two-point campus and so far I gotta say I like it. I think it's good. I've only played Two Point Hospital on PC, so I am trying to get used to the controls on the Switch, but I think it works pretty well. It's very different, and this morning I got myself into a bit of a struggle trying to sell everything I owned to afford a new classroom, but I guess that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're all having a great Sunday. I'm assuming I can upload this tomorrow. I really hope so. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know if you have any suggestions for what you would like to see on my channel. Oh! 
I'm gonna play games, of course, because uh, I still want to start streaming, but that's not gonna happen until next year. I was kind of prepared that it would be pushed back a little bit, but I'm still gonna play some games. That's also the next video that's coming, me playing some old, old school Nintendo games. And yeah, if you have any games that you would like to watch me play, suggest them and maybe I will play them. That's also something you can look forward to. I think it's funny, at least. <sighs> okay, I've talked a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you staying with me, even though I've been very inconsistent, but I'm so excited to get this thing rolling, get on a schedule, be more consistent, and just, you know, have this be more of my identity. I shall see you later. Keep up the good vibes. Bye! <laughs> I spent a lot of time with kids. Maybe that's obvious. <laughs>